to a denim wrap skirt that's coming up. These sewing tools and equipment you're going to need for this project is of course a sewing machine, fabric scissors, snippers or clippers, I've got chalk as my marker, threads, a seam ripper, some straight pins, needle and thread, a couple of buttons and a ruler. I'm Colleen G. Lee and I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas to refashion clothing. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to unpick the inside seams here. So it will be better to turn these inside out. So we've got an overlocked seam here and we've got a huge hem. So I just need to start here. It can be tricky because it is overlock. An overlock stitch I have to compete with and also a, ver a reverse stitch. So just it's just about taking your time really. Okay, so what I've done here is the hem. I've gone into it and unraveled the stitching that was happening here. So it allows me to access this section here, which is the overlock. Now what you can do with the overlock, if you find the right thread, you should be able to pull it and it will just unravel. But it can be quite tricky to find that, which I'm struggling with at the moment. So if you don't manage to achieve that and find that thread then the next option will be to just get your seam ripper in and just pull it all the way down until all the stitches come out. The next step is then to press because we want these seams to be flat, these raw edges and just repeat it to all sides still have more unpicking to do so I'm going to unpick this seam here which oh it's a plain seam might be easy to do and then I'm going to I want to keep the top stitching for the zip but I want to remove this part of the zip and take this out all together so this becomes open and then once I've done that I'll flip it over to the back and I'll take the seam out of the back. I'll come all the way up to the belt loop. Okay, I'm gonna start here. Just gently put my seam ripper in. And just, I can hear it and feel it. I don't know where the stitches. Just, just keep going, just go slowly. There's no rush. I've opened up the back seam now. So this is what we've got. So before I do the wrap, I'm going to sew the back. Now I'm going to create something rather contemporary rather than having a straight seam because I want to keep as much of, this, of the jeans intact with this new style of skirt. So I'm going to just lay it on top like this, pin along here all the way pin pin I'm going to stop about here about this point here I'm keeping that raw edge a nice feature for the back of the skirt so instead of having this seam tucked under I just thought it looked aesthetically pleasing and matching down the center of the back with the other seam open seam I'm just going to sew and just see what happens. So I'm going to do two rows of stitches to make sure this stays in place. It's now sewn. As you can see the front is the next end. Let me just show you that. And that looks gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy with the way that looks. 
So the next step is for me to sew this zip in position here and then figure out how I'm going to keep this closed and have a bit of a opening at the bottom. We just get a pin, just mark where I'm going to put the zip. So now it's the placement of the zip, making sure it marries up with the waistline. Placing the zip where that marker is and then pinning, placing some pins in position. And one more there. And then I'm ready to sew that into place. There we go. Okay, let me just start this off. I don't have a zipper foot on here. I'm going to try and see if I can sew this without a zipper foot on. Yes, I am being lazy, but I think I can get away with that because I'm sewing quite close to the edge and plus the width is helping. Yeah, that's fine, right on the edge. Zip is now in position. I did two rows. I stopped there because of the slider. Yeah, and now I need to create some kind of closure to the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a row of stitching along here and then it will be done. So I've got a little bit of an opening to the front as well as the back. And lastly is going to be sewn on the button. So this no longer is of any use, but I'm not going to get rid. So I am going to place it there. This is where the other button is going to go. Get my needle. Just like so. And then sew that button into place. There we go. There's the button. I'll sew that into place. Okay, and now the skirt is complete. So happy, I am so happy with this. It's so original. Let me just show you, lift my jumper up. It fits really well. And yeah, I'm glad that I decided to have the raw edge shown at the front as well as the back. It just brings it together. And yeah, it's really nice. Easy to get into as well. I didn't have to struggle. I think that helped because it was on below my hip level to begin with. And yeah. There's a button, and yeah, feels comfortable. Nothing else to be said, really. This skirt feels so good. Yes, I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. So if you enjoyed this video as well, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, and you just want me to know, then that's also fine. I will not be offended. Um, but anyway, if you do have any ideas for any video tutorials then please put those in the comment box below. Do visit my community chat in my community tab and also in the description I'll put links to any video tutorials that may help you with anything such as you know sewing on the buttons, um, thinking about how to um, undo seams. I will put links to those if I have them on my channel. So like I said if you do have any ideas for any video tutorials then please do let me know and I want to thank you for watching.